Hi guys, it's Chelsea and today I am going to be doing a tattoo video and I haven't done one of these in a while but I kind of wanted to put that back out there and talk to you guys about the pain scale of all the tattoos and the locations that I've gotten them in. I know that my tattoo videos are probably some of the most popular ones on my YouTube channel and a lot of you guys subscribe to me for that reason so let me just go ahead and put this out there so for the people who have been wanting to get tattoos but they don't know where to get them i did my hidden tattoos video which i will put up here in one of the cards i can't remember which side it's on but um yeah i'll put i'll link that up there and then for each of those tattoos i wanted to go over them and talk about how bad they hurt each location that i put them in if they were crazy bad scale one to ten i'm just going to talk about that so i'm just going to go from my oldest to my newest ones i'll probably get them all mixed up but whatever let's just start with this one this tattoo i got on my wrist it was the very first one i ever got and I wanted to get something small so that I could see how badly tattoos hurt and just like get used to it before I dedicated myself to like a really big piece so this was like my experiment tattoo and this one on a scale of 1 to 10 probably hurt at about like I remember it being like a 5 when I got it but it was like my first one so you know I just wasn't used to it yet the way that I describe tattoo pain like what it feels like is like a really hot cat scratch it's just like it's just a really hot cat scratch that's what it feels like to me so that was probably a five let's just go from top to bottom i'm not gonna remember the order i got them in so let's go for my ears my ear tattoos right here and right here those i was really nervous to get but they honestly did not hurt at all the most annoying thing about them was that you could hear it right in your ear so those probably hurt at about a two it was really nothing i wouldn't worry about the pain of ear tattoos if you're gonna go get one just go do it they're not they're not bad at all and then behind my ears let's see i have this right here somewhere i hope you can see that and i also have this one right here somewhere and those didn't really hurt that bad either i'd say that was probably like a three and i'm really sensitive to pain so i know that i'm rating these first ones kind of low but i'm i'm a really sensitive to pain person so don't worry about it it's low for a reason it just really didn't hurt that bad if we continue on this one on the back of my arm right and this probably took like an hour and a half two hours and i would say that that one hurt at about a six or seven um it wasn't comfortable like the the back of your arm is a sensitive place if you just kind of like pinch this area a little bit you can tell that it's going to be sensitive but it was totally manageable I didn't freak out too bad. It just kind of, um, it was more annoying than anything else, but it wasn't really that bad. Six, six, six or seven. Yeah, that, that's what I would rate that one out, out of ten. This one I have on the back of this arm, and that was probably about the same. This one's probably a six because it didn't take that long, and the line is really small, and thinner lines just don't hurt as bad, so that was probably just a six. And then this one on the inside of my arm here... I'd say that one is probably a seven the part that th this down here didn't really hurt too bad this was probably a six but what made it a seven is the lower part down here and the inside when you get pretty close to the underarm area that is a little sensitive so that one would probably be a seven right here on my ribs i have this bum ticker tattoo and ribs are not a great feeling luckily this was a really small piece for me so i'd say that probably hurt about a six as well i know that if it was a bigger tattoo that pain would have went up to probably like a seven or an eight pretty easily but because mine is pretty small it really wasn't too bad to sit through it probably took about 20 minutes to do which is nothing so yeah that wasn't that bad i also have 
this right here, which is my little heart fart tattoo dedicated to my YouTube channel. That was probably a two because it took like two seconds. I mean, it, it, it's so small. It's so stupid. But yeah, that one didn't hurt that bad. However, on the other hip, same location, much bigger tattoo. My most painful tattoo. This was probably like an eight or a nine and that's this one. That was probably an eight or a nine just because there's a lot of black in that and the lines are pretty thick and it took a really long time. I think like the first hour of it I was okay but then after that it was just like really starting to get in there and hurt and it was like past the point of uh like the first outline and it was to the point where we were you know going over things and trying to make the hair darker and that started hurting really bad so that was probably an eight or a nine honestly and yeah i was not super amped on that one i think that's all of my tattoos i think that's all the tattoos i have and yeah, so the pain scale kind of varies. I do have plans for future tattoos on my sternum, my stomach, and both of my sides of my ribs. And I'm not looking forward to that pain. It's kind of one of, it's kind of a funny thing, tattoos, I think. You get them and they kind of suck while they're happening, but then you forget about how bad they sucked and then <laughs> you just want more. And I think, um, the most annoying part of getting tattoos is probably your the healing part of it because they start itching and when they itch you can't scratch them because you're gonna pick out all the ink and stuff so you kind of just have to like press them or give it a little give it a little smack you know <laughs> and i think that that's probably the most annoying part of tattoos for sure is the healing process and i think uh like some things that you can do to help alleviate tattoo pain when you get them is to maybe take like an ibuprofen or an advil or something like that right before you go maybe take two of them 400 milligrams or so and yeah that should help while you're actually getting it done do not drink alcohol before you go please don't like get extremely messed up on anything tattoo artists really don't like when people come in like that and a lot of them might even refuse to tattoo you if you come in inebriated so don't do that you know an ibuprofen's fine an advil's fine whatever but don't don't drink a lot don't get really messed up before you go and then also they do make this like numbing cream that you can use while you're getting tattooed you basically put it on your skin wait five minutes and then they can tattoo over that gel and you'll have to request that um, or talk to your tattoo artist about that when you are getting it and right before you get it. Some people use it, some people don't. It all depends on what your artist is comfortable with. But I think as long as you have good communication with your artist, they will work with you if you need to take a break for a second. A lot of them don't mind just taking a break for a brief second. Um, but you know, obviously, don't don't go in there screaming. Don't move around a lot. This is a tattoo. It's going to be on you forever. Just hold your body still. It's really not that hard. And it, I, I feel like if I can say that, anyone can do it because I'm kind of a wimp, to be honest. So I hope that makes you feel a little bit better about your capabilities. And just so you know, if it is one of your first tattoos, when you do go in, they are going to have to shave that part of your body just to make sure that there is no hair there. Even if you're not a hairy person, they are going to shave that part of your body. So just be aware of that as well. Things to prepare for when you're getting a tattoo. That's a thing. So yeah, I hope that you found this video useful and have some kind of idea of how different areas of the body feel to get tattooed, especially my tattoos are all really easily uh, concealed and they can be hidden really easily and if those are the type of tattoos that you go for then these are the types of areas on your body that you are going to be getting tattooed. I hope that um, you feel a little bit more confident in your ability to handle things knowing that I'm a wimp. So that's the pain scale for all of my hidden tattoos and uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. 
thank you and um yeah i really look forward to showing you guys my entire sternum and stomach piece when that is finished up so subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on that and follow me on instagram if you want to it's underscore the carry i will leave that here on the screen somewhere it's also in the link in the description all that good stuff give this video a thumbs up for me and i will see you guys in the next one